so we did the interview with brother Tabiso not long ago and uh there's been a few responses that have popped up here and there we did actually two particular episodes on Tabiso's testimony you can see the one that he uploaded on his channel which was part one and the one that we uploaded on this channel which is part two and so those particular episodes are still up on youtube and hey don't forget to subscribe over there uh, he's about to cross a thousand uh, subscribers so congratulations leadership that the gospel be preached and on this particular video you know i kind of missed the editing aspect of things you know so today i'm making a little bit of a complicated you know like a bit of a you know run around video way uh, multiple sets and whatnot so please do give it a like it doesn't help it play out in the algorithm and let's get back to the video like like the video before before we continue or you can like when you're like two minutes or three minutes in the video and if you see an advert just let it play okay let's go back you can't resign him coming so okay so it says you can't resign i mean like there are, there are people who held the position of a pastor before and so they left and stopped and went and did something else but then this thing here you can't leave hmm, interesting <laughs> you can't resign him coming umgoma is a calling is who you are i'm actually going to pack a chicken how to resign it because you think you put me close and i'm going to have a pill again john paul yeah but you and your jose are not the same is it now first of all here there is a problem with how he presents the idea the past the people of the past live in you okay they are in you the whole idea that a uh, forefathers live in us uh, it's a very foreign idea theologically the holy spirit is the one that is in us like directly is the one that is assigned to be in us uh, any other outside of that it's possession okay and that's very grounding that's that that gives you a definition of whom are you talking about if you are now saying that a uh, abagini they are living in you it's a contrary doctrine it's a completely different doctrine it has nothing to do with church and it tells you that we cannot be talking about the same god when god breathed life into us man became a living soul so you have your spirit your soul and then there is the body that now thing you are a complete person so you don't need the doors to to live because you were given life independently okay and if god gave you life independently that doesn't explain that that doesn't explain for you that i don't need it close to live because i was alive before they came and so this particular comment that he made here i don't understand you live just about the same way you would have had life because you were create you were created being independent that's how that's a, that's how that's the simplicity now pause that particular comment that he just said right there it's very interesting because he makes it sound like people are banetros people who have it rose it's just only a matter of you know what they just deceived you that you were not supposed to get initiated to be a sangoma you you have the dozy but you just not supposed to yeah but that's not the subject that we were really tackling there the issue is that you were not even supposed to even mingle amongst that particular idea or that direction of the spirit okay the the, the thing to correct here is that you you are not to allow such spirits into your life you are not to allow or open a door where a spirit claiming to be an ancestor or a relative of yours to be initiated under the lotus that's the that's the thing there it's not just oh, to be initiated as a sangoma no is that don't go through with this ritual that bring you into other forms of worship you are kneeling down burning incense in order to communicate with the ancestors and what not that whole communication that's going on over there that's the subject matter that's the core root of the matter here delving and engaging yourself 
with such spirit back to the top. Okay, so a person can't resign, but they, they might trust her while they were not supposed to trust her. Okay. Ngoba umuntu mai se resign na si ambone se vile pepe ngota stakla lukbona pe labantu abashole le sa isango. So you might hear a person on the news saying that they resigned, uh, but he wants to see the people that you've consulted. Give that thought a second. We're still moving on with the edit here. We are about here and uh, we are this far right now. And let's get back here. So what he's just added right there shows you the issue is not truth. The issue is what does he want? He's made up his mind about what he believes and what he would listen to and it's very clear truth is not an interest it's not the subject matter and how do you know he makes it difficult it's the area how far you a person is willing to go to make it difficult or unbelievable for someone notice he says no we want proof of how many of the people you've healed as a isango it's not about whether true, right, or what, or what, or, no, no, no. He's now added another layer of difficulty. The issue now goes to how, how difficult, how far difficult can we make it for someone who says that they have come out? A uh, very interesting thought. Let's go back. Here. So the question that he's asking is, okay, yeah, we hear that you've resigned. <laughs> How did you get inside? <laughs> it's just all about legitimacy now. It's a, it's a subject matter of legitimacy. Were you really a summer? <laughs> so, so the same way you came in to be is in Goma. It's the same way the Josie came through. So it's foolish to say that you've dropped a madrosi the same way people stop being pastors like magetlaketla himself was a prophet first of all a human being is not assigned it's not meant to be the one that indwells the other that possession okay you are meant to live your life it is the same thing with the gift aspect of it and i'm not carrying your gift okay I don't take on a gift of my uncle or a gift of my grandmother. So the whole thing of saying someone is a sangoma, utwele is ku is is koma sagabani, utwele is koma like for those that are outside the country, utwele is koma sagabani. It's like you are taking on the 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 pouch of your grandmother. Pouch is what carries the bones and everything. So basically, that calling you are carrying the calling of your grandmother. No, the callings that we have. It's one we have one calling i'm not kidding and some people you've heard they will, they will have multiple uh spirits from their grandmother to their uncle so they will have about a couple of a couple of spirits some people even have three to eight according to the last lady that we spoke about who was a christian and so it's very clear we are talking about a different spirit here now that tells you the, the format and do, doctrine and the teachings that are in African spirituality do not align with those that are in Christianity. So let's be very clear that here there is a separation. All cannot be going to the same. All roads don't lead to God. So he says, uh, when you say you now have Jesus, which means now, Idrosi, which is which you don't know is the one that can come in you it's in spite of the one that is actually related to you yeah jesus is not a close <laughs> jesus is alive okay yes receiving jesus means receiving the gift of eternal life to be reconnected and reconciled back to god that's what that is okay so jesus is not a close so i don't know what he means over there Unfortunately, the the editing is not editing. <laughs> the sound is way too high. So I hope uh, you can hear it. So you got a spirit from Judah. You didn't get the spirit that is actually related to you. 
he says that is issue there so they are saying okay a lot of times christians say uh amatlos they are dead but then also even jesus was dead <laughs> but jesus is alive right? and his death means something the death of our ancestors doesn't mean we 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 inherit eternal life but the death of jesus meant us being reconciled back to god so his death had a meaning to those that receive him okay just just a key thing to know so the same way jesus came into you yeah even us the jose entered us so basically the jose is now offering Amasangoma salvation. Because remember, what your ancestors give you and what Jesus gives are two different things. So you have to think about which is which. The ancestors don't give eternal life. They don't have that in their capability. They were not given that. They were just human like you. But Jesus gives eternal life. The subject matter of why Jesus is here and his death had a meaning. I can't say that about my grandmother. My grandmother dies because she's human. My grand, 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 they die because they are human. Jesus' death had a meaning. But anyway. And they clap. And that's where the clip particularly ends. And particularly for that. Yeah, unfortunately, the audio was just a little bit too much. It was way over uh, thing. So he's grumbling about the or his particular issue with the testimony is that it's this position of compared to and so they are not understanding the offering what you are what the ancestors were giving you compared to what Jesus was giving two different things you can't compare those two things as funny they are not the same the ancestors don't give eternal life that is not part of their thing they are not capable of even offering it so therefore this is why there is a conversion this is why one converts from ubungoma to christianity it's because you are now in a position where you are here to receive eternal life what the ancestors give which is a gift which is very dodgy also because god is the one that gives he says all good gifts come from god and so therefore what gift are the ancestors giving you which you actually see a record in the bible that ancestors actually give now as i stated in the earlier segment the the idea of giving gifts was also something that god did and so as a land, it's clear here we believe different yeah that's per that's personally what i want clear yes it is jane you want you want we can't debate his journey. <laughs> okay it's his journey it's it's the journey that he walked okay you don't um you know when he went through that journey, you were not there when he went through his career you were not there but when he went through his conversion also and you know what? Something about Tavis's testimony. There isn't the sky broke apart. He had a voice straight. <laughs> he, he looked up and he saw Jesus. No, it's nothing dramatic like that. No, it's just conviction and the gift. Conviction and the gift. This is the simplicity of his testimony. It caused him issues on the other side. Actually, show the daily Christian commentary videos, and so I just wanted to, to clarify that yes, what the ancestors give compared to what God gives, it's not the same. The ancestors don't give eternal life, period. Now, if you don't care about eternal life, it's fine. That's what Jesus brings. Jesus brings the reconciliation with God. The ancestors don't offer reconciliation with god there is no reconciliation that they bring and why are we being reconciled because we are sinners 
And Jesus comes to bring life, meaning he comes to bring forgiveness of sin. Ancestors don't offer that one. Too different. It's the reality show, as I stated. Other episodes done today, they'll be done in the comments, so check them out, and I will see you on the day.